Welcome everybody, this is the handheld gamer Bill Brown and welcome to my new talk show. This is Bill Brown's Press Start. I love you man. Thanks man, and I love you. Now before we start, can we get the cameraman to show us the crowd? Well, thank you everybody, thank you very much. I didn't expect this first show to be so popular. Well, I got an exciting show for you all today. Today I'm going to be showing off my Korean PSP and Nintendo DS collection. Okay, so here we are. So let me flip this camera around so we can check it out. Now thanks to Captain Jong for making this collection possible. He's the one who gave me all these games. A puzzle Bobble Pocket for the PSP. Fantastic game. I originally got it way back, imported it from Japan, and I believe the cover is the same. Of course, this is the uh, Korean version. Very fun game. Doesn't really push the system, but it's a very fun game. I'm gonna go through the pile here. Let's see, I got a big stack. Oh, and the next one's gonna be some language software, some learning software for Korea. This is the wind toy. I guess it's a test you take. Uh, English proficiency test. And I have a couple of these. These. What makes it interesting is it's learning software for the PSP. And it's got full on video of, uh, lectures and things. So I, I kind of reverse use it to learn Korean. So it's pretty interesting that they got some learning software. I think only Japan had the Talkman. Uh, games and this is the other one so both of these are full lectures and things like that of learning English so very interesting oh I'm sorry I just knocked over Mr. Spock there this is a Christmas Mr. Spock live long and prosper okay we got coded soul now this RPG only came out in Japan and in Korea so interesting RPG I'm sort of figuring my way through it. My Hangul's not great yet, but I do read. I can read a little bit. I can read it, but I can't understand it it's fully yet. So, but a very interesting RPG so far. And let's see what we got next. It's got a lot more action in the RPG. Oh, Pro Uke. I think it's called Pro Uke or something like that. This is baseball. It's kind of like a cartoony baseball. Very popular in Japan and here in. Korea also and it's also on the 3DS in Japan now I noticed so this is 2010 fantastic game it's pretty, actually very fun I'm not huge to sports games but it's fun speaking of sports games here is FIFA 06 uh, soccer it's not my biggest sport but it's fun it's a fun game came to the uh, PSP uh, this is fun you can see it's all in Hangul there and I'm Glad to add to my collection, so thank you, Captain Jung again. He's like my good friend and also following my YouTube page here, so very cool YouTube channel. Monster Hunter 2 Portable. Monster Hunter uh, games are very popular nowadays. This is the start of them on the PSP. And a little tougher, definitely get the English version of it because you would have to figure out all the menus and items and things and they're all in Hangul so if you don't read Hangul it makes it a little tougher for you but this is Monster Hunter 2 Portable fantastic game now let's see it takes me a bit to go through these pile without knocking them all over okay Glow Race Glow Race fantastic carnival I believe it's called now this is an interesting game. I believe it only came out in Korea. I didn't see any Japan release for it. I definitely didn't come to the US, I'm pretty sure. And it's an interesting game. It's kind of like a kart racer, but it has some little bit of RPG elements and things in it. So hard to really, I haven't really dug into it yet. I'm gonna have to dig into it more and play it. But it's definitely very interesting. It's got some really cell shaded kind of crazy looking graphics, so it's pretty cool. Let's see here. See I got all my amiibos in the background there. And I got some off camera, quite a few off camera. Much. Oh, music games. Every extended extra. 
music kind of like puzzle game, I believe. I haven't really dug into this one either yet, and I need to still. So, it looks very interesting. I know it's popular. I know that came to the US. Now, these uh, DJ Max portable games, music games, I really, I like the music, but I suck at them terribly. I just cannot keep up with the uh, button presses as it comes down and continue the song. But they're very cool cool game so this is one of them and I got one more here of the DJ Max portable games I believe that's the title it's called so if you guys are good at it and you would like these kind of games let's see what we got here my collection I'm trying not to knock stuff over as I go oh we got Wipeout Pure fantastic game there's Pure and then there's Wipeout Pulse. I believe Pure is the first one, Pulse is the second. I could be vice versa, but I think that's the correctly. When I first played these on the PSP, I was blown away by the graphics and thing. When I first got my PSP, it was one of the first games I picked up. And I was just blown away and fell in love with the series. Fantastic racing, futuristic racing game with weapons. Now, if you know me, you know I love wrestling more than anything. So this is SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 featuring the ECW. Fantastic game. Oh, sorry, my phone went off in the background. Anyways, fantastic game. I really like it a lot. Uh, this one has the manager mode and so on. And I, it has a lot of English menus in it, even though it's a uh, Korean release. So you can understand this one quite a bit. I believe even the it speaks in English. So very cool. My phone was reset. I'm trying to shut off the menus. Okay, Mod Racing or Mod Nation Racer is a kart racing game. Which is pretty cool on the PSP. This is the of course the Hangul Korean version. These are all Korean. Uh pretty cool game so far from what I've seen. Not as good as a Mario Kart, but not bad. Definitely nothing's going to beat Mario Kart and kart racing. Star Wars Battlefront game. This is an interesting box version because it's we didn't get it in a box like this in the U.S. Because it comes with this uh, book. So Battle, the Battlefront Renegade Squadron book. And it's kind of like tips and tricks and strategies involved in the book. Which is very interesting. I, I, I had this game, but I didn't have this version of it in the US, so I'm not sure if we got it later on, which I don't think we did, not like that. But that's more like a collector's edition almost. Thrillville Off the Rails, another roller coaster kind of game. It has a bunch of mini games and things in it. Very cool music in this one. This one has awesome music be blown away by the music so this is Thrillville off the rails and it's got a special box also I'm not sure if I didn't get the US one. Oh, this is volume 2 of Namco's collection with 13 games from the arcade now I did have the Japanese version of this also so very similar sorry my cell phone's going all crazy in the background there battery died but very cool game. Lots of little bonus games. Uh, Winning 11 2009. Another soccer game. I'm not huge into soccer games, but it's cool to have it in my collection. I have to mess around with it some more. I think the only games that I'm big into is sort of sports, is like Ultimate Fighting and wrestling games. Tetris DS, fantastic game. I have it on the DS on the uh, the US version also. So this is the Korean version. Fantastic game. I, re I really like this version of Tetris. Probably one of my favorite versions actually. So very cool. And we got Metal Slug 7, which is awesome. Very challenging game. Really uh, good game on the DS. So I really like this. A little run and gun shoot 'em up game. Very fun. 
know, like a cartoony Contra. I think it's its own thing though, Metal Slug games. Played all of them. So he gave me a loose uh, Metal Gear Acid 2. I love the series Acid 1 and Acid 2. Didn't really catch on, it's kind of like a uh, Advanced Wars or Fire Emblem kind of strategy based Metal Gear game. But this came out with the uh, Portable Ops on Part 2, the Portable Ops 3D glasses. So if you open up this case here, you have some uh, fold out Portable Ops binocular style glasses you can make out of that box and put it over your PSP and play it in 3D in parts. Okay, let's see what we got next. Now the next one I have is very interesting. He got it from Japan. It's the 2016 catalog for the Nintendo 3DS. So we'll just look through it. I'm not going to look through the whole thing, but I'll look through quite a bit of it, I guess, because it's very interesting. I laminated it outside because I want to keep it nice. As you can see, it's very nice looking. I really love the, uh, the way the Japanese really go into detail on their games and things and give full-on catalogs. There's Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon. So very cool. Flip it over here. More in depth of the Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon. I've already beaten the game quite a bit. I've already beaten the uh, the Elite at least uh, four or five times. More than that, actually, because I try to level up, so I keep beating them. And some 2DSs or a 2DS and a 3DS. I don't believe we got either model of those Pokemon ones in the uh, US, so it's very cool. Metopia, which unfortunately I was really looking forward to, but after I played it, no, it wasn't as, wasn't as good as Tamadachi Live or Animal Crossing. It wasn't what I was expecting, I guess. I was hoping it was a little bit more robust and kind of let me down, but oh well. It, was, it, it has, it has okay, some unique things in it. Super Mario Maker. Which I haven't gotten on the 3DS yet, and I'm not sure if I will. This game, I'm not sure what it is. I've seen the character around. Uh, I don't know his name, so if you guys know, you can leave it in the comments. Uh, it looks very interesting. I can't remember his name. He's very popular, though. And it looks like Yoki Watch. I'm guessing. At least that looks like the uh, Yoki Watch cat in the back corner. Could be wrong, because it says three off the side. But it looks very interesting. As you can see, the, I really love the uh, artwork and stuff in this uh, catalog of 3DS games. Makes you want to buy all of them. Megami Maguri. We did not get that. Uh, I'm not even sure what it is, what kind of game it is. Now this looks like Animal Crossing, the uh, cell phone pocket camp, but I'm not sure because it's in 2016. So, but as you see, it looks very, it looks like the pocket camp, but it can't be because it's on the, D, the 3DS, as far as I know. Hmm. Now it's got me wondering. This is Amiibo support. It's definitely not the Happy Home Designer. Uh, what's that, Mario Party? Oh, Monster Hunter Stories, a game I, I haven't picked up yet. Would like to get it. Don't know, don't know what this is. Don't want it. <laughs> Doesn't look like my style of game. Pass. Next page. Uh, is that Dorimon? Is that his name? I uh, hope I got his name right. I know he's popular in Japan and here in Korea. The blue cat. I can't think of his remember his name. Okay, what do we got there? I'm not sure what that is. That's... Uh, there's... Oh, that's the baseball game I was telling you about. It's on the 3DS. That way, that I have on the, the uh, PSP. So it's here in... Uh, this is in Japan, so it's Japanese. Uh, Kirby Planet Robo. Mario Kart 7. Smash. Rhythm, Rhythm Heaven. I believe it's really heaven. They're all fantastic games. 
As you can see, these artworks and everything they do in the games are really awesome. New 3DS games. Some Lego there. A couple of games I don't recognize on that list. So anyways, that is the 2016 catalog from Japan. I should get it. I would like to get to the 2017. As you can see, they have these really fantastic looking uh, calendars on the back. They look really nice. So this is up to June. And on the inside, let me turn it here, is the rest of the calendar. From July all the way up till December. I really like that. I like those, how they put a calendar on the back of them. Not sure why they do it. Oh, because they read from left to right, right? Or right to left, so I'm reading it backwards actually. And this is the launch of the new Nintendo 3DS catalog for here in Korea. I picked up this catalog when it came out. And they also have really nice looking artwork in it. I'm just gonna briefly look through it. Maybe I should do a video on the catalogs themselves one day. I would like to do a better job of capturing the footage. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my collection. I'm definitely looking to build my collection and add more fantastic games. Hopefully some more DS and PSP games. Okay, at the end here I wanted to add my wish list. I've seen everybody making wish lists of games that they want to get. And I just have a few left on my Nintendo 3DS that I want to get. I'm around 160 games, so not too many left. So, this is my quick wish list. I really list. enjoy Nintendo commercials, especially during the holidays. I get so creative with them. The Nintendo 3DS is my favorite system of all time. Second behind that would be the PSP and Nintendo DS tied for second. Anyways, I have about 160 games on my Nintendo 3DS. I saw everybody making wish lists of games they want, so I figured I'd make one for my wish list for Christmas. So my list is Pokemon Ultra Moon, River City Rival Showdown, Codename Steam, River City Tokyo Rumble, Cave Story, and Kid Icarus Uprising. That is it for this first episode of Press Start. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, have a good one. Take care, everybody.